Hello, everybody. Welcome to Mr. PJ. Today's date, December 13, 2016. Our words for discussion is condescends. In Psalms 39.5, Behold, thou hast made my days as a handbreadth, and my age is as nothing before thee. Verily, every man at his best state is altogether vanity. Proverbs 16.31, The hoary head is a crown of glory if it were found in the way of righteousness. Jeremiah 49.16 Thy terribleness hath deceived thee, and the pride of thine heart, O thou that dwells in the class of the rock, that holds the height of the hill, though thou should make thy nest as high as an eagle. I will bring thee down from thence, says the Lord. Luke eighteen eleven through twelve the Pharisee stood and prayed thus with himself God I thank thee and I am not as other men are extortioners unjust adulterers or even as this politician I fast twice a, the week and I give tithes of all I possess in one John two fifteen through sixteen and when he had made a scourge of small cords, he drove them out of the temple and the sheep and the oxen and poured out the changers money and overthrew the tables and said unto them that sold doves take these things hence make not my father's house a house of merchandise define is this is to stoop or dine to do something to misrepresent the facts, to put aside one's dignity or superiority voluntarily and assume equality with one regarded as inferior. We should never condescend one another for our own benefit. It is important to not misrepresent facts or condescend them when the facts are th true. Don't put aside your dignity or superiority condescend voluntarily and assume equality with a person regarded as inferior. When praying to God, don't be so condescending or comparing yourself to others. I want you to think about this today. Have a blessed day.